can't see or hear people like yourself so you have to talk really loud right into that little orange light and when we go back later and listen to it we'll be able to hear you know what's going on and we can't see you sometimes with our eyes so it's easier if you maybe walk in front of one of these cameras I know they look a little menacing because they have the red lights but that's just to help us see at night I'm popping my toes <laughs> Something's going on out there and you don't know what. Do you want me to come, EMS? You know what I mean? Yeah, you may have to give it a second since they're talking right next to you. I know it's going to carry into your room real well. No, we've marked it, but I mean, do you want me to come look at her? I've got medical training. Uh, it would, yeah, you, you can. I mean, Daniel can go in there and replace you just having trade out. bathrooms right outside and on the right. Okay, we'll do. Okay, I'm going to leave where here's the walking. Daniel's going to come in here. Yeah, I'm fine.
How's it going? Good. Good? You okay? Mm hmm. Are you sure? Yep. You have anything strange while you've been sitting here? Well, I thought maybe the pillow had moved, but I'm going to mark that and then check. Here's the walkie. We'll see if this thing answers any of the EVP sessions that he's trying to do. Did you want me to stop recording with my camera? Okay. Scratched. She Just has, now? She has three scratch marks on her back. Are you serious? But it almost looks like trouble where you could just reach back and go with your hand. At the angle that it is. Mm -hmm. So we took pictures, we got it on video. She said she was sitting in the bathroom and got scratched. Are you serious? Just now? Yeah. That's crazy. And it's on her back, you said? See, nobody was around in it at all. Her sister was. Her and her sister were both in the bathroom. So. Do you think it might be something that might just be following her? I think so. I think it may just be her paranoia. Let me go out looking for this stuff. Because if you notice, when they were talking, they were both talking about different spirits at their houses. They had names for them. And it's almost like they're attached to them. Mm -hmm. Like they want there to be something. And when we're investigating, we have to approach it from the fact that you we're know, you not know, looking for proof. We're not believing in something that you know we don't see or we don't hear or we don't feel or we don't experience. So, Every investigation approach it is a skeptic. And if something happens, it happens. Mm -hmm. But if something does happen, don't just jump to a conclusion. Yeah. You have to look for answers. I do have something with this here. 